The voice of the Roadrunners, Andy Everett, joining us. Andy, always a pleasure. Great to be here. Tough loss for UTSA this past weekend. They follow UAB on the road. We knew going into this game that the Blazers ground game, they're number one in the conference with their rushing game. We knew that was going to cause some problems. Um, and unfortunately, UTSA struggled slowing them down. They allowed a, a program record 419 yards rushing to the Blazers. Why did they struggle so much? Well, I think it all goes back to the offense at some point. Uh, first of all, I think UAB is as good a Conference USA team as I've seen in the five years that UTSA has now been in this league. They play Texas A&M in a couple of weeks, so that's not going to be an easy game for Texas A&M. I think UAB has a legitimate chance to win at Kyle Field. That, they're that good. Uh, they have 16 six-year seniors. Most of the players playing for UAB were 23 years or older. Most of UTSA's players were 19 years or younger. Uh, there's a major difference when you have that uh, discrepancy when it comes to the age on the field. Uh, the offense simply still is a work in progress. They're still trying to figure out how to move the ball. They got a couple of good drives down to the two-yard line, then went backwards. They had a great uh, play, then had to settle for a field goal. So those things still have to be worked out. Defensively, they had trouble stopping Spencer Brown. They had trouble stopping the, the passing game with a couple of new guys in the secondary because of injuries. But when the offense cannot keep up, and that was going to be a game if UTSA was going to win, they're going to have to score in the 20s or the 30s and really keep UTSA's defense off the field. And they couldn't do that. They couldn't give them a break. Speaking yeah. of offense, we saw three different quarterbacks come in with Weeks, Gillens, and Grundy. What did you see from each of them in terms of their performance on Saturday? Well, I think for JoJo, it's still him trying to figure out college football and the speed of the game. I think his skill set's great. I think there was a stage in the game where he got lost a little bit of confidence, so they brought in Cordell for a couple of series to kind of calm him down. Then Cordell got hurt. I don't know how seriously it was, but enough to where he had to come out of the game. They brought Jordan back in. He pretty much played until midway through the fourth quarter, and then they let DJ get some snaps just to get him back. And DJ looked pretty good at the time, but the game was pretty much out of reach at that point. And DJ's always been behind the curve this year because he didn't have a spring or a summer camp. Um, and so... We're still trying to figure out what that position is going to be. And with three games left, I still think Jordan Weeks is the guy for now. And they're going to try to groom him to be the guy for next year, uh, trying to still win these three games to become bowl eligible. Uh, but that's the position that makes or breaks a team. And so far, UTSA struggled there. A lot of motivation for the Golden Panthers going into Saturday's game. How difficult will it be for UTSA to match that same level of motivation? Well, I think the motivation for UTSA right now is a couple of fold. They want to win a game. They haven't won in a while so you always want to win you don't ever you don't ever get take off plays or take off snaps or take off anything you want to win and you want to see if you can come up with some winning plays I think right now we're also in auditions for the future every player is being evaluated can you play at this level and what can you do at this level the UTSA defense is relatively young uh, Kevin Strong is going to graduate, Les Maru is going to graduate, C.J. Levine, Daryl Godfrey are seniors. Pretty much everybody else that plays is back next year. So the defense is still going to be great going forward. So they're also trying to solidify their spots if they're a veteran. And the young guys are trying to find a way to get more playing time because of the opportunities that will be presented to them the rest of the way. Like you said, a very, very young team. We'll see. have to wait and see when they play FIU this Saturday. Andy, thank you so much. You're welcome.